This is a very important strategy that you need to know if you want to win your Go Battle League battles. J Farm, what is it called? Sack swapping. Let's do it. So it's not just sack swapping, it's sack swapping in tandem with counting fast moves. Correct. And if you don't count fast moves, Oops. this isn't going to work. You need to learn how to count fast moves to be able to sack swap. Yeah, if you're just getting into Gold Battle League now uh, and you've never done it before, you've never done PvP or Solferina before, it, there's more to it than just tapping your screen and using charge moves. Yes. Uh, there's a lot of analyzation and methodical work that goes into it. And we're going to keep it simple. We're going to start with counting fast moves, Yep. which a lot of times isn't hard to do. Uh, and then we're going to go into uh, sack swapping. Yes. And trust me, guys, if you watch this strategy, if you implement it in your battles, you're going to notice you're going to start doing a lot better because uh, if you've been watching our videos, He's very good at sack swapping. I'm getting better at it. Uh, and we take down most of the opponents. Yeah, uh, remember guys, this is a little bit of a technique that you're gonna learn um, over time. You, yeah. It's gonna take a little bit of time to kind of learn because Definitely every fast practice. move um, is different, yeah. right? It gives you a certain amount of energy with a different charge move that requires a different amount of energy. And you're gonna learn it the more you play it, uh, I think the better you'll get at it. Yeah, there's like crazy slow fast moves like Confusion, which are very easy to count. And then there's incredibly annoying fast moves like Dragon Breath, which Dragon are Breath. almost impossible to count, but some people can do it. Yes. But uh, let's get into it. Let's show some visuals. You think? What do you think? Yeah. Some visuals, triangle, mm -hmm. mystic triangle of transition. Yes. Um, I think um, this is a perfect example to actually show it on, right? Azumarill yeah, versus we're doing Venusaur. Azumarill versus Venusaur. Right. So uh, let's just go in and show you guys what counting fast moves oh. means exactly. Challenge failed. Challenge expired. Yeah. There's a magic card. Oh, sorry, okay. sorry, sorry. All right, let's do it. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're not going to be tapping like crazy. We're yeah. going to do a slow process here. Yes. So first, all we're going to do is count Venusaur's fast moves. Yeah. Venusaur, right... <laughs> Right down there, there's Venusaur, <laughs> just in case you could see him. All right, together. Hit One, me once. Two, three, four, five, six. six. So that costed five Vine Whips, that was Vine Whip, mm -hmm. for Venusaur to get to Frenzy Plants. So uh, when you're going against your Venusaur, your opponent's Venusaur, mm -hmm. you can count it. You can count and see, okay, I just did five Vine Whips, mm -hmm. now it's going Frenzy Plants. Yes. Okay, let's do it again. But this time, what are you going to do? Well, this time I'm going to try to sack swap because yep. the thing is, um, Azumarill has a decent matchup against uh, Venusaur if he has Ice Beam. Yeah. But as you guys but can right see now, right here. You got Hydro Pump and Player off. Yeah, so Azumarill doesn't have a chance. All right, so show the audience what you're going to do, John. Let's count again. Okay, let's count again. One, two, three, three. four, five, six. Oh no, what happened? This is an Altaria on the field. How did I get so fooled? This is not gonna do me effective at all. <laughs> so basically what this is, is this is called sack uh. Uh, Because we know that Altaria is a flying type, Frenzy Plant will not do anything to Altaria. Yeah. It basically saves you from having to use a shield. Yeah. Now, of course you can get countered when they switch out, but you rather take the, the swap and save that shield and do some damage to that other Pokemon in that time it takes them to shield, sorry, to switch out, mm -hmm. rather than being in that terrible matchup and losing such a key player like a Zoomerall on yeah. your team. So as we said, uh, we got Altaria versus Venusaur right now. Yeah. As we said, Altaria is very hard to count its fast moves because mm -hmm. it's Dragon Breath. If you guys want to count its fast moves, it takes 15 uh, yeah. Dragon Breaths for it to get Sky Attack. Yes. So about let's 18. For let's Dragon do Balls. it very slowly and let's see if we can do it. Okay, right? we're gonna miss slowly. Your Dragon Breath, so just tap it slowly. Two, well, two. That, was that, how many did you do? Three. Just, how many did you do so far? I think, no, uh, no, a lot more than that. Okay, <laughs> go, go, go and use your Sky Attack against me. All right. Let's, let's, uh, let's get the energy. <laughs> why are you doing, why are you <laughs> farming, John? Oh my god, that was an accident. <laughs> god damn. <laughs> this guy's just- Shield it, shield it. Oh, okay. oh my god, okay, let's restart the battle. Okay, this guy's just always in competitive PvP. I'm sorry! He's, I'm, like, I'm he's used over to farming this. me. I'm telling him to <laughs> use up the energy. <laughs> My god. Alright, let's try this again. I'm sending you the battle. Alright, let's take a breath. Let's get into uh, 
tutoring <laughs> tutorial mode, mode, and tutorial now mode. I have to beat Dustin no matter what, <laughs> even if we're just teaching someone. Though. All right, relax for a second. <coughs> so, what we're gonna show right now is basically the whole thing out. again. No, okay, fine. Sorry, no, it's not. A it's, it's a little bit yellow. No, it's, it's a, a little, little yellow. It's a little bit yellow. All right. Usual. Okay, so, you're gonna go Altaria. Lead. Uh, yeah. Okay. Altaria. You have an Altaria called Beat Scrub. <laughs> a testament to what we're doing right now. <laughs> All right, so okay, do not hit the fast move, please. I, okay, I will. Chill, I will, chill, I will, chill. I will, chill I will, that, 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 that trigger I'm finger for a second. You. My hands are here. Let's count it together. Okay, count it. Yeah, go slowly. Go. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And that's the thing. And right? now you use your charge move. Now see how I didn't wait until exactly 15 Dragon Breasts to switch into Skarmory. Yeah. I did it when you were around 13 or 14 because there is some delay on switching. Yeah. So although you do want to count to 15, you're probably going to want to switch around 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, I think... Uh, when you first start doing it, you're going to be doing it around the 12 mark. Yeah. And then as you're getting better and better at it, the more close you can bring it yeah. to that charge move. So that way you can successfully pull off a sack swap where now they waste all their energy. What's also going to impede your switching is the animation that your Pokemon's going to be doing. Yeah. Because uh, as you can see, Skarmory, his fast move takes a little bit of time. Yeah. And as you may have noticed, you can't exactly switch when they're in their fast move animation. Yes. So if you're going to go for the switch, you got to be counting and you got to make sure that your Skarmory, whatever Pokemon you're using, is not moving. Yes. You got to stop tapping. You have to stop tapping Which... that fast move because if he's in the middle of a fast move animation, it will not allow the switch yeah. to go through. You're gonna have to do it again. Yeah, which we get it. Like, it's a foreign concept. Yes. All we know about Pokemon Go PvP is uh, tapping the screen, but there are moments where you gotta stop tapping. Yes. All right, now let's let's do this all together. Okay. Let's do this without, uh, without let's like, like go super speed, regular speed. Su regular speed. Regular speed. Sack swapping, counting fast moves. Yeah. All right, got Same you. Same team. Got you. So you're gonna switch out of the Azu yep. into Altaria, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna switch into the uh, Skarmory. Got you. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do Show it. them a perfect example. I'm actually a little uh, I'm always scared that I can't do this because like it's not the easiest thing. It's not the easiest thing, but yeah. you will you will get better at it the more you do it. Yeah. Well, especially Altaria. Altaria is really yeah. hard to predict. Sometimes. Yeah. So are we counting or no? We're just going with it. I'm gonna count in my head. Okay, in your head. Alright. So let's see. Focus, focus, focus. <laughs> You're supposed to go as your world. Oh, well, I, I guess this is what it is. <laughs> I guess I will swap out. <laughs> So let's see if he counts the, the switch properly. <laughs> he got it. <laughs> now remember guys, if you guys don't know, you guys can switch basically right as you're doing your charge move. That little thing pops up and now allows me to switch out. So now I basically got the, the, uh, the, the, the charge move off um, and then now we're gonna be hitting him with super effective damage because he did switch, we're able to do um, our own switch and then basically switch lock him in to a negative matchup as you can see though right here He did not shield because he knows he has a terrible matchup He wants to invest those shields into something else So now he's gonna be bringing in Meganium and we're like, okay, that's fine uh, We're gonna be doing some more Thunder Punch because now we are we are locked in Right and Thunder Punch is not gonna do a lot. So now he's deciding to also not shield here Because um, it's not really worth it for him. But again, we're locked in So all we're trying to do right now at this moment in time is basically just do as much damage as we can before he gets to his charge move. Because now we're not going to shield because we have a negative matchup. So what are we going to do? We're going to go back in with Altaria, right? And now we he's locked in, right? He can't get out of this. So what we're going to do is you're going to just keep farming him. I mean, I could have switched out, but I have Venus from Meganium left. I didn't know we were going to keep going. Uh, we're done though. That's, that was our showcase yeah. of, of the, the sack swap. Pretty much. Um, but honestly, this looks like a really simple strategy, but it really does help your matchups, guys. Yes. Especially because so many people are going with Altaria. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people don't exactly know this kind of like sack swap strategy. Mm -hmm. I've seen it again and again where trainers, I will switch with the Sky Marine, mm -hmm. they'll see it. Yeah. And they'll still go either Dragon Pulse or Sky Attack. And last but not least, guys, uh, if you guys really want to learn how to count, fa count fast moves, make sure you guys go on the PV Poke website. I'm just going to show you guys real quick um, exactly how that looks. 
Uh, right down there, you're going to be seeing a animation, basically where it's going to show the amount of fast moves it's going to take to get to your charge move, and then basically run the simulation with your opponent, see who's going to get to that charge move first. Yeah. But this is a great tool to show you, basically saying how much energy does your fast move give you, and then how much energy does your charge move require to actually go off. Yeah, so if you guys want to know exactly, like we only did Altaria matchup, but if you want to check out anything else, you can see here by the screen that those blue blocks, there's 15 of them, which represents Altaria using 15 Dragon Breast yep. to get to their charge move. And uh, you can do this with any Pokemon. You could do uh, Minin versus Groudon for whatever reason that would come yeah. up. Or you could do uh, Dunsparce versus Giraffe. <laughs> Dunsparce. Uh, but yeah, if you guys want to learn more about this, learn more about how to count fast moves, uh, just honestly be all around prepared for when those charge moves are coming, no matter what Pokemon it is, head over to PvPoke. Yes, if you're going to be running a solid team of three and this is the, solid, the team of three that you want to run in Go Battle League, run the simulations on PvPoke for all three of your Pokemon so you can really, really understand all three Pokemon on your team. Yeah, but and, I uh, think uh, that's the strategy. So uh, yeah. thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys are going to be trying out this strategy in your battles, let us know if it improves. Yeah. Uh, because I think, honestly, it will improve your gameplay. I highly do. Uh, this is literally one of the key factors to be going from a good PvP player to a great PvP player. Yeah. Alright guys, that's the end of, uh, end of our video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And of course, do not forget to give it a huge thumbs up if it has helped you out um, or if it's going to help you out. If you learned something from this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Let us know down in the comments uh, what kind of videos you guys want to learn, some things about PvP that you actually want to learn, something that you're not quite understanding. And uh, hopefully we can cover it in one of our future videos. And of course, uh, do not forget to subscribe for more PvP, Self Arena, and now Go Battle League content. See you guys on the next one.